Welcome to Chelsea Chat. It's a new show I do here on Crest Entertainment. Martin Yo. is here again. I get most views when my brother is in the video. I'm so, the <laughs> so yeah, we uh, I make sure we get him as many videos as possible. Get those views up. Welcome to Chelsea Chat. If you're a Chelsea fan and you're new here, please do consider subscribing. Um, we don't do this a lot, really, the Chelsea no. Chat videos. <laughs> It's very difficult uh, to get things moving. We've got a lot of other stuff going on as well. Tuchel, um, he's got one of the best starts of the Premier League for a Premier League manager because it's, it's like Paulson James or someone like that, first Paulson James, someone like that. And it's like for, compare us to what we had with Lampard and compare us to now, two different teams, isn't it? Two I don't, completely different teams. I, personally, I don't think it's fair to compare Lampard <clears throat> to Tuchel. Tuchel is an experienced winner. He's an True. experienced manager. He's been in the game a lot longer. Lampard, it was his second job. Yeah, like, true. You've got to give a little bit of leeway for that. Not to mention, we did do okay under Lampard. We did, yeah, but we weren't certain, reaching our full potential. Cert, no, of course not. But certain areas, we were doing okay yeah. under Lampard. So I don't think it's quite fair to compare them to. But I'm if it saying, was, just look at the two teams we've had. I, I, now, I, I know, know I, I, I understand that. But, but like, I'm just saying I don't think it's appropriate. Mm. Guys, Chelsea are in an FA Cup final again. We are in the Champions League final. Get in. Mm, and you know, about, what, eight years, nine years? And you know what? <laughs> I don't fear any team. No, I mean, don't we, fear. we, we outright outplayed Real Madrid in both. Real Madrid got <coughs> In both legs, like, we outright played, outplayed we did. them. We did. Uh, especially in the second leg. You know, Second scoring, half of the second leg. Yeah, really. scoring both goals. You know, those two goals. I mean, Werner's goal, very, very lucky. Goal. You know, the right time, right place. I'm still worried you miss it. I'm still worried you miss <laughs> exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. Bless him. Um, we're going to go to the FA Cup final coming up against Leicester soon. Uh, um, this weekend, isn't it? It is. Yep. Is it? Yeah, it's Saturday. Uh, well, as of recording, we've got Arsenal tonight. This video won't be out in time for that, but I reckon we'll be at Arsenal. Yeah. So that was a fucking lie. But Leicester, Martin, score prediction. For I Leicester. think two one to us. Two one. Yeah, because I, I mean Leicester, the only team that I'm a bit worried about because they're really, very, they're, they're very good. They're a very, very good side. They and are. And obviously, but... we've, every time we faced them, we've been, we've been a bit shaky. We've had a bit of a. I've got no fear. No fear. We've had a bit of a moment against them, so, so I think two one. I'm so confident that we're going to beat them two 0 I'm so confident of that. You've got that confident. We don't concede goals at the moment. We don't, <laughs> That's very true. Apart from West Brom, which was a fluke by the looks of it, yeah. we don't concede goals. That's very really. true. And but no, I just think because this has been the season for us has been a bit of a shaky sort of. Especially, uh, but mate, a lot of clubs team. for that have been a shaky. Yeah, thing, so right? I think I think two one is more of a fair. Oh, uh, so fair result. Well, we're both going with the Chelsea win. That's the important thing. Who do you reckon will score first? I'd like to see Havertz score a score goal. Havertz. Yeah, Havertz. I think Havertz. Ziyech as well. Uh, yeah, well, uh, he's that a great goal, goal he got against City, great goal. bang straight in there. Um, it, he's been if he could keep himself healthy for next season, he was going to be a massive player in our side. Maybe even contention of Mountain team. Yeah, he's good. Well, side. they play two different roles, but he's definitely be a huge. I think he's, I think I think everyone's going to be yeah. a huge player. I think Werner's going to start firing because he's looking a bit better now. Havertz is looking definitely more massively better. Werner's got more, more confidence now. Havertz is looking like amazing. So he's going to be on fire yeah. next season, I reckon. Now it's going to continue his climb yeah, up. Def- and like when they gave, they've given, I think they've given manager of the season to Pep Guardiola, or at least they're tipping him. I can understand that because he season. has had a brilliant season. I don't. I don't believe. I think David Moyes should get it. What he's done with See, him, I, I, I like the work uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done as well. No, no. I, you know, he is fair enough. He hasn't won a trophy yet, but uh-huh. what he's done for the, I think he's been there for about three, four years, I think now. Oh, he's not been there that long. Um, but he's been there for a few se- couple of seasons. But he's done a lot of work with United, considering how they were after Ferguson. No, person. And that transition period, he's yeah. helped them through a lot, I think. Mm. Right, guys, uh, we'll go on to the Champions League final now. We've got City coming up. Um, there is a bit of thing about where it's going to be played. Uh, the last news I heard is that it's definitely <clears> going to be in Portugal. But so, so I mean, as long as it's great. not, I mean, it obviously would how the world it is at the moment. The coronavirus, you know, it's different. It's different. In oh, different, I, I don't it's care. It's different in different countries. I, I won't be able to go regardless. So I'm not. Yeah, personally, I would is. love to be in Wembley because um, it is two English yes, teams. Yes, I would have thought too. And if they could work it out, it'd be great. It, but it's who, looking who unlikely. Yeah. It's looking very unlikely. So Champions League final against City, much more difficult. Like no, no offense to Leicester, but it's a much harder game in my opinion. See, I think that's going to be an easy game because the, way we, the way we played against them for the last few games, it's a I, I, I don't, in you a, know, I'm not, in I'm a not, I'm not scared of them. In a Champions League final, in any cup final, that goes out the window. It's irrelevant. True. So what's your score prediction two, for City? I think 2-0 for that one. You reckon we'll beat them 2-0? Yeah, I, I reckon. You reckon I, we can keep I reckon they'll choke and we'll win, we'll win it 2-0. See, I don't think so. I don't. I, I'm very, I don't know. Because Pep Guardiola's got a great record when it comes to Champions League finals. 
I reckon it'll be high scoring. I'm going with a 3-2 victory Ooh, to well. us. Right I reckon they'll put a couple of past us. One player I don't ever want to see against Chelsea again was fucking Raheem Sterling. Oh, he was rubbish. He is a, he's not rubbish. Oh, no, he's I, a I, cheat. <laughs> he's a he's cheat. A, it was like that goal again he's he got against us. It was Aguero about to score and then obviously he comes in and nicked it. No, that, to be fair, Aguero should have hit that first Yeah, I mean, Aguero, Aguero should have done better. Well, I think Aguero would have lost that if he didn't. Aguero uh, should have done better. So Ster- yeah. Sterling's goal was fine, but he's just an absolute... From, from, from what I saw in that game, he's an absolute dick. And uh, so that penalty, uh, penalty incident at the end... Um, it wasn't a penalty. It wasn't a penalty, and yet he's on Sky Sports, later on, oh, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. I'm like, no, it's not. No, Zuma no, didn't no, no. do nothing... The Zuma, the Zuma, oh, I thought you were talking about Gilmore Chad. No, so you know where right. um, at the end of the game where yeah, yeah, Zuma, no, yeah. No, I know what yeah. you're on about. So the Zuma thing wasn't a penalty. He was no, just wasn't. Even the Gilmore one wasn't a penalty. He was just, the Gilmore one definitely wasn't a penalty. They were very soft decisions, but I think the correct decision was made with the Zuma challenge. Selling slowed up his run and he yeah. allowed that to happen. It's a and tactical he, yeah. foul, technically. So for me personally, I'd be like, nah, that's not a penalty. No, it's not, no. But, but I say, even with the Gilmore one, you know, I remember watching the, the dad. He's, he's, he's a Liverpool fan. And even he says that's not a penalty. It's a soft. He looked at it and he was like, it's "No." It's so soft. It's so soft. And all the pundits, all they spoke about was the penalty decisions. Yeah, I know. It's like, and it's well, not, like, about, not about the goals. Not Sterling about you know, went how in we with, played. Sterling went went in with a a studded tackle on Werner and didn't even get a yellow card for it. Yeah, I know. That should have been a straight red. Why is no one talking about that? Bias. We're biased. Mm. Okay. So Champions League final. We both got Pip Chelsea to win, of course, and we want them to play well, and we are looking forward to that game. Next season, let's talk a little bit about that. Where do you think, if we are still playing the way we're playing, maybe bring in a couple of new lads, where do you think we're going to finish? You reckon we're going to win? Yeah, I, I said I said to my mate uh, the other day, because he's a Liverpool sport, and we were both saying that if the way we're playing, and if we continue that momentum, and sign, as he says, sign a couple of players, yep. even he says, you'll be top next season. See, I reckon and that's coming from a Liverpool sport. I <laughs> reckon we could definitely go for it. Yeah, I definitely I think believe. next season we need to mount the title challenge. The last few years we've been struggling to even get into the top yeah, four. Yeah, like we've four, four. It's, third, yeah, it's you know, always it's, been a yeah. fight to even try and get into the top four. I reckon we could go for a title challenge. Yeah, I think so. I definitely think that's a possibility. I think we'll be up there at City of Liverpool and Man United, I think. Well, yeah, well, Liverpool have fallen away a bit, but yeah. definitely, but we, I think we'll definitely be up there towards the end of the season. I really hope Chelsea do win the Premier League again. And I've heard they're going to give uh, Tuchel a, uh, new co- a new contract as well. Tuchel has earned a new contract from what I've been reading. He's going to get a two-year extension on the yeah. one year. Which I think, I think he deserves it. Or yeah, then. Of course he does. Yeah. Of course he does. Yeah. Definitely deserves that. It's not really up for discussion. Who's Chelsea's player of the year for you? Mason Mount. Mason Mount. I don't care what anyone else says. It's Mason Mount. That boy, every time he comes on, he scores or he sets up a goal or he does something awesome Yeah. that gives us life and gives us gets us into the game. And ever since Lampard brought him in, our team's been different. Full credit to Lampard. Though, yeah, full way. credit to Lampard because Lampard got got him right on that one. Yeah. You know, playing right. him in the midfield, or even he can play up front with, with, with uh, Werner and Pulisic. You know, I like him when he's up there with Werner and Pulisic because he gives that extra something up, yeah, up front. The, but obviously he is more, he's more of an central midfielder sort of role. And, but then again, he can play anywhere. You know, he can play anywhere, well, barring defence, I, 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 <laughs> I think he can play I anywhere in that midfield or up front. I personally think he's better as um, attacking forward, number yeah. eight, a number eight role, with either kind of like how Lampard Kovacic and Kante play. behind yeah. him in a double pivot, or Jorginho in that case. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you, with Mount being that. Um, my only other player that could possibly pip him for that is Kante. Yeah, Kante's been... At, I mean, that meme I showed you the other day. Golo like, <laughs> yeah, well, he's got the whole Real Madrid <laughs> midfield. He had, he had everyone... In, he had a, if he's on his day, he has everyone in his no, back pocket. No one can beat him. He's, to, he, he's world's best. On, think, it, on, on his, his day, day, Kante's unbeatable. He's unplayable. He's absolutely incredible. But, yeah, no, I'd have to agree with Don Mason. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'm upset that uh, Caballero hasn't had a shout. He hasn't played a game. No, right? he hasn't. No, but then again, that's... I, it's I, like when we announced Czech as being in our squad, and it was like... Is it a game? <laughs> I, yeah, but Jack was never going to play. Yeah, true. But I don't remember Caballero having any game this season. I don't think he's playing. I think he's leaving at the end or retiring at the end of the season. Most likely, anyway. but yeah. I would I would have liked to see him play. Mm, I mean, he was. I mean, he has been a second. He was a but... decent backup lot. Like, yeah. uh, for, for, for the last before, couple of before yeah. we brought in Mendy, he was a decent backup. Yeah. He was okay. I mean, as a better I mean, than anyone he... better than Kepa, do <laughs> That's what we were no, saying. So. No, at the time, <laughs> yes, because uh, you didn't trust Kepa. No, no, you didn't trust him between the sticks. But when he's in got when I see him on the team sheet now, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's fine. Mm. Depending on who we're playing. Uh, yeah, I Depends mean, who we're playing. Uh, wasn't it uh, Norwich or one of the FA Cup where he made those really good saves? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, fair enough. To, so, fair play to him, you yeah, know. He, can, he, he does have it in his locker. Yeah. I, think, I don't know what's going on. But. All right, guys, those are just our few thoughts on the two cup finals we've got coming up. We're looking forward to the end of the season. Hopefully, Chelsea will finish the top four, which is looking more and more likely I mean, yeah, with every like game. Three, four points ahead of... Uh, I think, yeah, I, think, I, I literally think we need, like, four points in our last five <coughs> games. And, yeah, and no, we're I'm, not, I'm not sure on those added statistics, but we're very, very close to... Clinching top four, guaranteeing it, and getting Champions League football next season. And even season. if we win Champions League, we're not obviously in the Champions League next season. So <laughs> regardless, that, that be I, a, want, I want yeah. both. Yeah. To guarantee it, I want both. And I want another Champions League trophy in our cabinet. The only team in London. Actually, only well. team in London with the European Cup, and that continues because Arsenal fluff their lines. <laughs> Bottles. Have it. <laughs> Have it. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching this episode of Chelsea Chat. Uh, thank you, Martin, for coming in today. Uh, I'm not sure when we'll do another Chelsea chat video. Probably maybe in the season. I will, we'll talk about. I will the try and get one. Yeah, well, we'll try and get one after the end of the season. Um, maybe when fans return back to the stadium. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, I know they're doing it uh, for the last game. I know Liverpool could have about ten thousand. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, an idea is: Would you guys like to see a watch along? So, me and Mike could do a watch along of the FA Cup final and the Champions League final. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? Because, you know, we'll get emotional. He definitely gets emotional in football yeah. games. He I, is, I let football control my mood. So. He, yeah, if we're playing well, he's the happiest thing. If we're playing badly, he will not shut up. He will swear a lot. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, do let us know. Uh, and we will certainly do our best to make that happen. But for now, thank you all for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys.